Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be unboxing a new set of colors I got. Uh, this I have I've never used these colors. It's the I'm sure if you can see, but it's the Van Gogh, the quality brand colors, and I don't know if this is the brand, the Royal Talons, or if it's just an accessory, I don't know. But basically in this, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's making a lot of sound. Okay, so what's in here is, it's gonna be some colors, acrylic colors, uh, a cleaning tissue, one bottle, 75 milliliters of acrylic varnish, some double palette cups, I don't really know what that is, that's interesting. One bottle, bottle 75 millimeters of acrylic medium, and two Van Gogh brushes, and the colors of course. So that's what's in here. So I thought, I bought this today, and I thought it would be interesting to show you what's in here, because I thought it was a pretty cool box and everything. First, I want to show, I also got this deep etch canvas because I wanted, I didn't have any canvases at home and I obviously want to try out the paint, so I bought this. Okay, found that black for maybe traveling or, you know, etc. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, okay. So, it was just these brushes that are supposed to go here that were moving and they are very pretty. This is a number 10 brush, Van Gogh 2 9 fourths is a flat brush, I think they're called. You can see, and it's very long, which I don't really use long brushes, but you know, that's fun. Got the 6, uh, 2 9 5. Oh, here we go, and that's a more of a your typical standard pointy brush. Okay, so I'm mostly excited to see what this is. Hello, it's Tilda from the future here. I just realized I was editing this video and I saw that it's the usage of the palette is literally shown on the box. You're supposed to put the medium in that little that thing and then you're supposed to clamp it to the palette, which I thought you were supposed to do, but I couldn't so do it. So I'm an idiot, but you know, we all make honest mistakes and this one was mine. I, you know, I saw it and uh, Back to the video, this is what you're supposed to use it for, bye. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw something in the lid here, hold on. I kinda wanna... <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 you're supposed... Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why the latch is there. Oh, okay. Can you move this even further? You can. Wow, okay, so I think this almost has to be like a palette. You can hold or it's just i don't know an accessory <laughs> that's smart maybe you can latch i don't know man this is smart though i did not think that was a thing but let's put that back i don't know what this is because i got confused about what it was so i didn't really explain anything but basically it's an acrylic medium it says it on the bottle you use it to thin out paints and it makes them a little bit more this one is going to dry it more glossy whereas the other one is matte and it's basically as i said to thin out paints to make the process of painting a little bit easier you can see the instructions if you want to pause and read see if i can stop shaking it makes the color more more transparent and this one enhances the degree of gloss so didn't explain it a lot but that's what this one is for this i am pretty much wait what I just, I just got bamboozled. All right, it says on the box that I'm supposed to get a bottle, 55, nice, <laughs> 75 milliliters of acrylic varnish, and I do have acrylic. Uh, and I thought that was what was gonna be in here, but apparently not. Okay, well, it tricked me. Okay, so this is acrylic medium matte. 
uh, acrylic resin dispiration matting agent for thinning acrylic colors whilst allowing the sufficient binding agent thinning with only water makes the water paint lean. So it's the same thing with this, it's just this makes the paint more glossy, this dries it matte, and that's really cool. I like that a lot. The varnish as I thought, but that's honestly, I don't have a medium like that that dries matte. And I do have varnish, so that's actually really cool. Let's see if I can... Okay, and then... It's just a little... Cloth? I guess. Oh, it's it feels weird. That's cute. I like it. Let's put that back. <laughs> okay. Here is obviously the f where the fun begins. And uh, so let's go over the colors I got. So to start, we obviously have the beautiful titanium white, as Bob Ross would say. Okay, I just thought I might want to show you what the colors actually look like. So I got a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to start with the white and I'm going to take the teeniest amount on my bar from the lid. It's a very rich white, not very eggy, eggy like the, color, the paper is. It goes on very smoothly. You do not need a lot to have, get a lot of payment. And then we have the A so yellow. I've never heard, awesome. I've never heard that. What this yellow looks like. Okay. It's very, the colors are very creamy, I would say. And that's my first impression of them. That's beautiful. Yellow as well. Also a so yellow focus in deep. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, okay. I like the consistency of these. It's nice. It's very creamy, honestly. These colors are really creamy. I have a Miss... Ooh, how do you pronounce that? Naphthol... Tol... <laughs> Red medium. Paper. Oh, that's a pretty red. Oh, the colors are so creamy. And you don't need a lot. Honestly, you don't need a lot. It goes a long way. That's really pretty... Red. It's a very deep red, I would say. Look at that. <laughs> okay, next we have the. What's with these names, man? Quinoa Credone Rose. Wait. <laughs> I was gonna say lilac. I don't even know what color that is, but you. Okay, next we have an cl a classic paint, an ultramarine. If you focus, Let's see if I can lock it in the pink. That's pretty. Ooh, it came so pink. That's pretty. It's a pretty, I wouldn't say basic, but it's a pretty standard ultramarine color. Look at that. A very pretty. It's like the mother of blues <laughs> to go on to the next one brilliant blue i've never heard that name used for color i don't know if it's just i took a lot but damn look at that color it's so opaque it looks a little bit grayish but in reality it looks more of a blue like it does on the tube Okay, so next we have a beautiful permanent green deep. Beautiful deep green, almost like a cartoonish kind of green. And then we have the classic burnt umber. I love this color. Okay, so it's pretty standard. Okay, 
Okay, so the burnt umber I have is a little bit more like towards the reddish kind of tones. Definitely has some of those reddish kind of, you know, more warm colored browns. But yeah, okay. This is an oxide black. I think that's the one I have as well. Let's see. Yeah, I have the iron oxide black and I have a big, big tube of these. Okay, so let's see what the black looks like. Okay, so it looks like a black. It almost looks a little bit towards the grayish vibes in real life, but I really want to try the the like the blackest black in the world that that um color that's gonna that would be fun. Okay, so here's what the colors look like on paper. I think they're really pretty. They look pretty standard, but also and they dry pretty matte. But let's see. I'm gonna actually only use like one color for this, which might make it just. I think I'm gonna make one. Take one that's pretty. Let's see which one looks the best. I think I might take the red as a shower because that one dried pretty, pretty matte. Okay. So usually when I use a medium, I'm actually gonna. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use these ones. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of red. They're literally just the tiniest bit. And in that one, this, I don't know how much you need of this. Somebody's out the door. Where's that? Sorry, someone was at the door and then no one came in. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna try and use this acrylic medium, the matte one. So as you can see, there's a bit in the lid. I think I'm gonna use that so I don't waste anything. Up. I don't know how much you need to set, but usually I think that might be enough. Okay, so let's mix those two. Okay, I'm just gonna plonk that on there. It looks obviously like the red does. Gonna see how that dries. Okay, so let's try the glossy varnish or the medium. So I just rinsed that one out and let's see if they have dried. Okay, obviously when it comes to mediums, you have to be pretty precise. I don't really know, but I think so. So I don't know if this works by the half I made and maybe I have to, maybe I had to use more, but um, that one looks pretty damn matte. Let's see, original also looks very matte. Let's see the glossy. Okay, that one seems more glossy. Honestly, when I do, that towards the light and that obviously you can see this one is more glossier yeah I would say that one looks glossier okay so that's pretty much it uh, for these for this little unboxing it was really fun I like this a lot I like I'm glad I bought it honestly and it's obviously a great travel kit if you feel like it okay so that's my uh, kind of uh, review and uh, unboxing I suppose of the Van Gogh the quality brand what was the other brand Royal Talons uh, little kit I personally really liked it I thought it was fun cute I'm glad I spent my money on it because you know and I'm really excited to try and paint with this I might upload a video separately or the same video I might show you the finished product of what I made with these colors um yeah if you want to I'm probably gonna be posting a shorter quicker video of this unboxing on my tiktok and I'm a okay so that's it and um, thank you so much for watching if you want to check out my tiktok I'm in my instagram I'm gonna be posting that in the bio below if you have any thoughts or anything you can comment or you can write to me personally on instagram or tiktok and i hope you enjoyed the video
please give me some feedback and i will see you in the next one bye what was that wait what is that bye <laughs>